Good morning investors and traders. In today's analysis we'll be talking about gold prices and the question that I'll be answering in relation to this will be how high will the gold price go. So let's have a deeper conversation in relation to this and see where the prices can potentially go. Before we do that, as always, it is important for me to, to go through this brief disclaimer which is right in front of me. A little bit about myself, I come with a wealth of 15 years of trading experience. During this time period, I have worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Mellon and as an equity trader with Bank of America and currently providing services as a chief analyst to our trade. Now, folks, we will begin our conversation by looking at the gold prices on the daily time frame. The big question for investors and traders is, that are we going to see gold prices dropping massively because what the Federal Reserve is doing? Now, of course, if you don't know what the Federal Reserve is, Federal Reserve is the central bank over in the United States, which control the supply of dollar. And the strength in the dollar index very much impacts the price of gold. Now, the current strength that we are seeing for the last number of days so for instance this is three days and then one negative day and another two days this is primarily because of the weakness in the dollar index because on friday we had the u.s non-farm payroll number which was a little bit underwhelming so now investors have started to think if the best days have already gone for the u.s economy now that is not to say that the u.s economy will not grow of course it will see it will still continue to experience better growth but the pace of growth this especially the one that we have seen for the last few quarters may not be there and that means the federal reserve is correct in making its assessment of the u.s economy in addition to that a lot of investors also believe that the current hawkishness meaning when the federal reserve will start begin its tapering process or increase interest rate is already built in or gold prices to a larger extent so what we have on the daily time frame now is we have three different moving averages your 50 day simple moving average your 200 and of course your 100 day simple moving average now the fact that the price has been in battle with the 100 day simple moving average during the past few days as you can see over here was a clear sign for us that the price is likely to break above this particular moving average because more recently the price had its battle with the 50 day simple moving average again and then the price kind of eased off from that particular level but then today we do see the price moving above that 100 day simple moving average which in turn is quite positive in relation to this price action now of course the prices do change their course of action and that means you need to be aware of the new update and the only way to do that is if you are subscribed to our channel then you will get that notification so smash that like uh, the subscribe and the bell icon ba uh, button because the moment next time i will put a video you will get the notification for more up-to-date and um, for more up-to-date prices now looking at the price action what one can potentially do under the current circumstances circumstances really is you could potentially take the trade in relation to the gold prices and have your stop losses just behind just below this particular uh, this particular uh, candle so right over here because if the price continues to stay above this particular low and then it stays above the 100 day simple moving average guess what is going to happen next the price is going to target 
its next resistance which is at 200 day simple moving average and followed by that the next one is going to be your 50 day simple moving average so once again what you want to do is you want to place your stop loss right over here and you want to target at least the 50 day simple moving average which is in around that 1840 but before that we do have this 200 day simple moving average which could be your potential next target and the breakout trade can be taken as of now or when the price retraces slightly below that 100 day simple moving average but have the stop losses below this particular uh, candle now in terms of your support prices uh, yeah, the the, price, the the immediate support zone in terms of a gold price is really going to be just around over here where this particular consolidation sort of happened more recently and that is going to be 1725 to 1734 that is that now as with respect to the rsi it is confirming to us that the prices are likely to continue to move to the upside because the rsi is trading above its upward trend line now of course guys if you like the content of what we are discussing over here please feel free to smash that like button because it kind of really help us on the google algorithm now once again to summarize everything gold prices are picking up bullish momentum the price breaking above the 100 day simple moving average is a very bullish sort of a signal one could potentially take this trade and putting the stop loss just below the low of this particular candle and the minimum target under the current circumstances is more likely to be where the 50 day simple moving average is trading your overall bigger resistance target is at 1915 to 1924 however uh, the 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 short-term resistance in relation to this particular price action is going to be around that 1877 price level that's all for now see you guys next time